there is in your Native American tradition, the idea of what has been described as the fifth world of peace. What is the fifth world? The human world. Think of, again, the pyramids we described with the five points, the four that make up the base and the fifth that makes up the apex. That is the five, that is your hand, that is humanity. Now, with this power that is the five, what you will find is that five bears many interesting correspondences. Five is the number for humanity, but it is also the number for Mars. Mars is seen as a planet of destruction and sometimes even war. This represents the lower self of humanity. The higher self of humanity, you could say, you are speaking to when you hear us. For yes, we are Sasani. However, when we project our energies through the channel, you must remember that we become more human. We become like your species collective consciousness. We become more like you as you become more like us. That's what allows for the beings you have called EIL to emerge. They are what occur as a side effect of your species becoming more like us, our species becoming more like you. That's what summons hybrid beings. And that's what brings up the evolution of your people. Now, when we say hybrid beings, we are referring to, again, many things. Some will say they are referring to hybrid children coming here and landing. Some will say, oh, this is a psychological or metaphorical reference that the hybrid child is something that will awaken within the heart of a person. That the IL are, let's just say, the activated collective humanity. What we would say is yes to one and the other simultaneously. Because how could you have one without the other? Imagine attempting to summon some type of hybrid being when you have not yet created it first and foremost within yourself. That is what is needed to see the extraterrestrials that you know in your hearts. You must become them in a way that aligns with who you are as a unique individual. That's the nature of the blending. We'll talk about it like this. There's the idea of positive blending and maybe negative blending, let's just say, or blendings that are preferred and blendings that are unpreferred, yes? Blendings oftentimes that are unpreferred are blendings that do not have clearly defined and healthy communicated boundaries. Blendings that are preferred are blendings where everyone is in favor of the blending and even though, of course, there's always unknowns involved, everyone is trusting in the process and is on board. These are what we would describe as healthy blendings. The unhealthy blending was what you would consider to be the more negative expressions of gray consciousness. That was historically what engendered that because it was as if the uniqueness of the species had been lost, and they became, in a sense, one organism. And you could say that they became their ultimate self, but it was almost as if their ultimate self became stripped of the diverse palette of colors that make up the multidimensional rainbow prism that you would call the realities of beauty. That is what occurs with unnatural blendings. It is as if beauty is lost, but it's never truly lost because what occurred for these grays later in their evolution was the redemption that your species assisted them in experiencing. And that was again, through you sharing at certain times in the timeline, streams, genetic information that would allow for them 
to, again, give rise to our people that would allow for them to give rise to other hybrid groups as well, and that would allow for them to ultimately not just reclaim their humanity, but remember it. Because they truly had forgotten what it was to be human. And now that their humanity has once more awakened, the favor is now being returned.